What is up, everybody? Welcome back. Click the beard reactions. This go around. We got the two Ronnies drunken wedding speech. Now it's been a minute since I've taken a look. Looked at anything about the two Ronnies. I think it's been like two weeks, three weeks maybe. I can't remember at the at this point. Y'all let me know in the comments. I'm sure. Um, I love anything I see that these these cats have uh, that they did. They were just top notch, top notch. Everything I've seen so far. So, uh, yeah, before we go any further, like, subscribe, notification bell. Let's go ahead and get into it. Alice and Arthur, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure now to propose a toast to the bride and groom. <laughs> These two young people are the full flower of their love. <laughs> I know. Like... He sounds like pissy drunk. I know that Arthur has made a good father. We'll make a good father. <laughs> As the past three months, the next six, the, the future. <laughs> Your show. He brings to Alice love, respect, and an income of 6,000, an income with which to support her. And he has already shown... <laughs> Oh my goodness. Is this a speech or is this a job description? That he can put her in the family way. <laughs> the family way of life to which she has been accustomed. Now we drink to Arthur as he's always drunk to us. <laughs> and my lady wife and myself consider ourselves well rid of, uh, well rid of any, <laughs> any fears we may have had. <laughs> <laughs> the corrections and why he's got to correct him so well rid oh, well rid of our uh, of our fears <laughs> pa uh, ever, ever since our Alice brought him home he has had it away he's had a way he's had a way with it with him with, him, with, him, with him, which has endured as himself to us I'm so glad he's agreed to marry Alice as she was expecting him. Yeah. As she was expecting him to. <laughs> oh dear God. I that's what those sit down. <laughs> sit down. These, these two young people, always on the verge, always on the verge of pet parent married Mary life. She's absolutely full of hope. <laughs> And I'm sure it'll come out all right. <laughs> and him, the bride him, and the groom, no, like, oh, no, hell. Revived, revered in the neighborhood. A man of substance and lechery. Lechery. <laughs> lechery. I'm not sure you want to be full of that. Le le lecturing at the college in the evening. <laughs> and that's not all. May we raise our glasses for much success to offer with a bridesmaid. Have a hand out. <laughs> as, the as the car waits to rush her to the maternity. To the maternity. <laughs> to the maternity. Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. I love, oh, my God. The way the mistakes and the, and the, what, the, and what it entails is like he's letting out secrets. To their maternal home. In conclusion, your mother and I wish our happy and secret honeymoon. May you thoroughly enjoy your confinement. <laughs> there we have it. The two Ronnie's drunken wedding speech. That's one of those ones where he gets about five words in. It's like, all right, sit down and shut up. <laughs> like the, oh, this was, I like the way this was done because you could see the, the looks on the bride and groom faces in the sketch and they're just like, oh, Jesus Christ. And it's the same way you'd actually see in real life. Like somebody standing up, they're that drunk and they're trying to give a speech. And it sounds like he's mixing up words, half mixing up words, half, half taking and like giving secrets and stuff like that. It sounds like half a job, not so much a job interview, but like qualifications <laughs> like that was that was funny i like this one um y'all be good to each other love yourselves peace